Hi, I'm Adam Culp, and you're at BeachCast. Thank you for stopping by. This is one of the videos in my basic refactoring series of videos. Today, we're going to talk about extracting some functionality into a brand new method. So stick around, and we'll get right on that. Welcome back. As I said, in this video, we're going to be using extract method to extract some code from one place to a brand new method, and therefore making the application a little bit simpler and function possibly a little bit better, depending on circumstances. Now, the code that I'm using in this example is available out on my GitHub. I'll make sure to link to it down in the description, but I have a, a repository in my GitHub account. It's called Refactoring 101. I've had that code there for many, many years. Probably needs a little refactoring of its own, but it walks you through step-by-step step of some basic refactors. And these videos are going to walk through those examples. In this one, we're gonna extract a method from some pre-existing functionality. So let me switch over to my IDE and let's walk through it. I'd like to take a moment to introduce the sponsor for this video, Cloudways. Cloudways allows you to focus on your business and avoid web hosting hassles. Go live in minutes by selecting your application, selecting the vendor your server should be housed with, then select the server size for your chosen provider, and you're ready. Please use the affiliate link in the description below to support the BeachCast channel and to claim your one month of free hosting. Okay, so as you can see, I have my IDE already open and I have a file open that is 001-begin. And this is the very beginning from the code repository that I'd mentioned before. Now in here, we have a basic customer class where we've defined two fields. We have the name and rentals. We have a constructor and we have an add rentals method, very simple. And if we scroll down a little bit further, we see that we also have a public function called statement. Typically, when we find something to refactor, it's due to one of a few different reasons. Either we are in the middle of developing something and iteratively we're refactoring to make it better and maybe cleaner, or maybe our static analysis tools have analyzed the code and told us that perhaps there's a lot of cyclomatic complexity within a given method, and maybe we want to split that out. So in this case, though, if we look at it a little bit further, we see that in the statement function or statement method, we have a few variables preset, a few temporary variables set. We're also looping over another field, which is rentals, and then we're using them as each throughout the looping. We build a temporary variable called this amount, and then we have a switch statement here, which is doing various things. Each of the cases in the switch is testing to see what type of price code it has. Depending on which case it actually ends up executing, it then adds to this amount. It would be a lot simpler if we just called another method that returned this amount. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and break out this switch statement into a brand new method. We're gonna call that method amount four. I'm gonna put it after the statement. Uh, so I'm gonna make public function and we'll call it amount four. Okay, and then uh, this is where we're gonna we're gonna you know put the code that goes into our our method. Now up here where the switch statement is, as we cycle through, we're using this amount. So I'm gonna need that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to highlight everything from this amount down to the end of the switch statement, just like this. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cut cut that out and I'm gonna put it right here in the new method. So I've created the new method, amount for, I've pasted in the code just that simply for the switch statement. And now at the end of this, at the end of it, because the statement is going to need the amount. So what I'm going to do is put in a return here. And we're gonna return this amount. Oop. Yes. We're going to return this amount. Okay, so essentially we have exactly the same thing as we had before, only we're doing it inside uh, its own method. Now, of course, the IDE is telling me I have an un unidentified bit of information here called each. And if I look up here in the in that uh, in the for each, 
we have each, but we needed to pass it in. So I need to call this new method and I'm gonna to have to pass each to it because it needs that data in order to perform its functionality. So here I'm gonna put, I'm gonna call this amount four. And for this, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call the new, the new method. We're gonna call amount four. And this amount four, and we're gonna pass each to it. Just like that. So on each iteration, we're gonna call this method and we're gonna pass each to it, just like that. Now, if I go down here, if I go down to the method, I'm gonna to have to put in this argument that's going to be passed to it. And now we see that the IDE is no longer complaining because now the, the variable, is, the needs for it is satisfied. And essentially, this function is going to do exactly the same thing as the case statement did before, but we've taken that code and we've pulled it out of the statement method and put it into a brand new method where we're, we're getting the return. And that's really all there is to this refactor. The code will work exactly the same as it did before. We're still going to have amount for, and uh, actually we want to make that this amount, not amount for. So this amount, because that's the numbers that's going to be used further down where it puts that information. So we have this amount and we're going to pass amount four. Now that we've done that, it satisfies all of our needs. However, there's a faster way to do this. So let me go, but let me undo what I've just did. I'm going to undo all that code. Now the code is back to the state it was before I even did that refactor. There's a simpler way to do this if you're using an IDE like PHP Storm. And what we can do is we can highlight those lines of code again for the, um, for the switch statement. We can right click, select refactor, and do extract method. So using extract method, it brings up the dialog. <clears throat> and the dialog, we're going to uh, give it the name. We're gonna change this name to be the name that I was using amount four. So our method is going to be called amount four and we're going to keep everything exactly the same. We're going to have a, a return statement at the end and we're going to go for go ahead and just click refactor on this. We wanted to make sure we set our visibility to public because it was that way. Click refactor and we see here it added the line to call the new method and if we scroll down we can see that the amount four method was created and the switch statement and the temporary variable and the return statement are all there. So it basically did automated exactly what I did manually, but much more smoother. <laughs> and But it's exactly the same thing. So again, we've got the code able to be created automatically simply by doing an extract method in PHP Storm. So thank you for coming by. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. The extract method is something that is used by developers on a regular basis when they're doing their coding, and uh, it, it can be very helpful. If you liked the video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and like it. Also, remember to subscribe to the channel so you'll be notified whenever I create new content. Thank you for stopping by. Now up here, I'm gonna put some other videos that you might find useful. And remember, be good to yourself and others, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.